Several people <clears throat> have been commenting on how bad the photographs look in InDesign. This is very, very true. Okay, if you take a look at um, your photographs, just zoom in, they are rather pixelated. Okay, and if you go into the bridge or in the Photoshop, they don't look like that. And it's not that InDesign is purposefully, well, actually it is. It's not that your photographs have degraded in quality when they were brought into InDesign. That's not the case. The case is what the way InDesign works, we're going to we're gonna deal with this a lot when I show you how to um, uh, submit your assignments. But the way InDesign works is that it is linking to the original photographs. Okay, so it links to those original photographs. It doesn't actually copy and paste those photographs into the uh, document. So you know how you've pasted images from Word, you know, from the internet into Microsoft Word, right? When you do that, if you were then to delete the original picture from the internet that you had, the picture stays in the Word document. That's not the case in InDesign. InDesign links to the original file. So you can, you can test this or see this if you go to the links menu here and it will say, oh, I'm linked to this image. If you were to delete that image, then you would see a big stop sign or exclamation point thing here under the status that would say that image is gone. I don't know what to do. And then if you were to print it, there would be nothing there. So InDesign needs those original files. You can't get rid of them. So what it's trying to do, I, all that to say, what it's doing when you see these low resolution uh, images that are here is it's trying to, to work fast. It's assuming that you know your image is sharp, that you know your image is a good resolution, and it's just trying to work fast with you. If you want to see what the photograph really looks like, all you have to do is go up to the view menu and there's display performance and you go to high quality display. Once I click that, it's going to think for a second and now all of a sudden my photographs are much higher resolution and I can really see the detail that's in them. Okay? Um, you'll notice, however, that InDesign might slow down a little bit. Now with just two photographs, with these computers, probably not going to slow down very much at all. Okay, so I recommend you can choose your dis change your display to high quality and, and, and stay there. Um, if you were doing something big, like a book that had a lot, or like the yearbook, that had a lot of photographs on a single page, 10, 20, 30, 40 photographs on the same page, all high res, you would not want to do this. You would definitely not want to do that. Okay, but, and that's, and that's InDesign is built for that sort of thing. We've got multiple images on a single page that are all high res. So, you know, just understand, your photographs aren't going to look like trash when you, with the final project, uh, product, they are, they're going to look just like they look in the bridge. So if they look fine in the bridge and they look fine in Photoshop, then your images are fine. Any questions? That's that.